Hello, I'm going to take a quick short video opening up the Yokogawa TY720 or Choditsu KW1062. Uh, probably this is the third time I'm going to open up. First and second, I took a open up and took a picture um, intending to upload into the EB forum. However, some of the picture I realized that um, I need to take it again. So, um, well, opening up third times to take a picture. And it may be not obvious by the, uh, from the video, these places is covered with a, a little bit uh, soft plastic or rubber on top of the plastic. These places are plastic and these places has a little bit of rubber coating on it. And this is rubber covering the serial communication to the PC logging, PC data logging. And this is the tilting bay. Oh, I, ha I ha normally I don't use the tilting bay, but this tilting bay is completely fine. Nothing, nothing moves. Well, the reason I don't use tilting bay is the my or first multimeter was analog. So tilting a little bit of the um, multimeter was enough to have an offset on the uh, needles when I to reading it. So I can't change my behavior just putting up on the table flat and using the multimeter. So taking off the tilting bay, just snaps off. And one screw here with the Phillips screwdriver. So, it, and this is holding here and one screw here. And this is millimeter screw and it won't come off. And and the middle receiver and it really looks like Japanese company's 1990s uh, injection mold. There's a slot and grooves and go inside and there's no rubber inside. I do not see any rubber but probably it's uh, trying to prevent the blast going out and not to damage the hand by the precision of the slot and the groove here. It's It matches really nice and many not simple fit, um, shape many place an uh, indent and indent and um, it doesn't look like uh, considering to uh, have a nice it's, it doesn't look like a, a good way to reduce the cost but um probably that's how it is and there's a angle here so and to take off the screws, I mean, uh, take off the fuses because there's a plus a back cover going underneath the fuses. So it it, it says 10 amp and this is 440 milliamp. And this is the SIBA fuse 10 amp, 1000 volt. And this one is uh, also a SIBA fuse, 440 milliamp, 1000 volt. Both is ceramic SIBA fuse for multimeter. Yes. Fast, probably fast below. And there's a four screw holding back. Uh, cover and the fr um, front cover. It's definitely um, self-tapping screw going into front plastic of the fr front cover. And there's a, a, a aluminum sealed, and this is the cable from the um, battery, four AA battery to the mother uh, PCB, and the PCB is, um, yeah, there's a four screw, and these two is holding the PCB to the front cover. So, um, I'm going to take off this one.
take off here. Yeah. Third time opening up is I remember where it, what how to do it. Yes. Um and this is the front side. And this is the lower door switch switch. It, it feels nice. And this is the f four millimeter jack, banana jack. And uh, I do not like this split types used on common and volt and ohm range. The reason is when putting, when dropping the multimeter, most of the time, the these are inserted when, when and when it hits the ground or floor it's going to uh, hit the lead, back of the leads and the shock will will be go to the uh, go to the go to the jack However, if it's slip, split it, then the it's it has more possibility to break the plastic surrounding the jack. So um, if they are going to have a re re revised ver uh, model or a future model, I hope they use the single um, cylinder jack here and uh, sealed. Yes, I desoldered sealed a few times and. Uh, and I end up losing one of the pad on over here. I heat it up too much. I, well, I initially I was expecting the s connected to somewhere ground, and this, the heat of the soldering will be observed very quickly. However, this side it was really connected only with this small small trace to the one via. So I didn't need. I sh I shouldn't um, heat it up too much. Well, that happens sometimes. And this is the LCD. So when I put this um, sealed back, I need to put the jumper or patch wire to the via. And the LCD is connected with four or uh, five notches. And it has a conductive rubber to the PCB. So uh, this is how the front side of the board, gas discharge tube, and in the back side. From here to, to the bottom, it's using a lot of space, probably for passing CAT 4, CAT 3, um, safety regulation. Yeah, PTC and mob on both side. Um, split in and protection resistor. This is probably thin film resistor. It doesn't have a um, glass window to see inside, but um, yeah. And that this is the main CPU. And it has four windows for PC data logging, but it's only using two. Probably send TX and RX. So yeah, that's about it. And I'm going to take a picture and post it to the forum. Okay, thank you.